the deal. I do you a favor and this is how you repay me? <laughs> do you think I, Murray, the demonic skull, would ever let you experience the joy of being welcomed into the Brotherhood? Well, yeah, I thought we had a deal. I would rather be reduced to dust than see a smile on your face come induction time. <laughs> of course, if I could see you howling in misery come induction time, you'd have my vote. You actually like these guys? Like? I like no one, but I love the Brotherhood. What I have here is a group of men I can mold in my own image. Their fates are tied to mine, and my fate leads to the highest throne of hell! So Brotherhood actually suits you. Plus, Bug Eye is working on a creed. I love creeds. Okay, later, so... Murray. Take care, windbag. I need to figure out a way to convince him. Sir, if I may have a word. How you doing, Winslow? Can I get you anything? Mogo Bile? I'm well, thank you. I wanted to inform you, as I was crawling back under the covers, I came across something uh, unsettling. Not another outbreak of Polynesian bed mites. No, 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 no. And I've seen my fair share of disturbing things between the sheets, sir. Uh, <laughs> what was it, Winslow? I believe a threat, sir. I left it over on the gangplank. It came with a note. Something about this being what happens to those who try to interfere with the Brotherhood. Seabiscuit! Mmm, I love these things! <laughs> and a seahorse head! I killed a little seahorse thing. Okay, so I'm gonna go use the sea head horse for. Okay. Hmm. I'm gonna go down and see if I can maybe use it on um thing. Anything about a seahorse head left in my bed? Wasn't me, but I wish it was. You know anything about a seahorse head left in my bed? A dead seahorse. Bummer. You know anything about a seahorse head left in my bed? No way. Ugh! It makes me nauseous just thinking about it. about a seahorse head left in my bed? Sounds like a fabricated allegation with no basis and zero fact. I've got the evidence right here. Don't know what you're talking about. You enjoy carrying around a smelly carcass? What I put in my pockets is my business, stink eye. Okay, I kind of had to cheat again. Because, yeah, I was wandering around for like ages trying to figure out what to do. Um, yeah, I had to combine these two for whatever reason. With a little elbow grease, I can swap the covers on these two books. Okay, now hey, Murray, we can actually can I interest you in this torture it. manual? Aha! I wrote the book on torture. For instance. How so? Do you eat? Sure. Well, um... This... Okay, maybe we just, um, do this then. Murray, <clears throat> I mean, send, you know? Do you want to have a look at this new member's manual to the Brotherhood? You might find it pretty interesting. Reading is for the feeble. Oh, I just thought these initiation rituals might strike your fancy. The first step in drawing and quartering your victim is... Wait, wait. What was that? Just going over some of what I can look forward to when I'm voted into the Brotherhood. Let me see that. <laughs> Why, that's positively malevolent. Look at all the blood. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to it. Wait a minute. Let me see the cover. 
<laughs> it's the genuine article. Too bad I can't have your vote. Aha! You should be careful what you ask for. Consider my vote yours, and your demise imminent! Okay, now we f should finally have everyone's vote. So we can just go back down and speak to the guy. Ahoy there! Now what? Okay, going to vote. Alright, very well. Gentlemen! Sweet! Okay, we should have everyone's vote now. Brother Noogie, your vote is still yes? Uh-huh. Brother Moose, what say you? I gotta go with my boy Santino on this one. Yes! Roll out the red carpet and let it run with the blood of Threepwood's torment. Ready to rack. Oil up the thumbscrews. <laughs> Man, you're something else, Santino. I say, yeah, my boy's got an eye for character. Nah, fine. I vote yes, as much as it pains me. Good name. Hey. You have a unanimous vote and a formal invitation to join the democratically united the brotherhood at the Manatee Interior. I accept. Do I get a sash? Or a button? No. Welcome, brother. Welcome. Burn in flame. You guys should really have buttons. I think they'd be a hit. What you do receive is the honor of one of the Brotherhood's greatest responsibilities. As the most junior member, you'll be the caretaker of the cochlea. It's the key to our permanent vacay. You're just giving it to me? Guard it with your life, brother. Okay, so I'm guessing we fit that into our pocket, yep. <laughs> and we've got a massive pocket, apparently. So now we can finally get back up to the top and give that to, um, to Carver. Well, cochlea procured. Uh-huh. We'll be out of here in two shakes of a pirate's booty. Yay. <laughs> finally getting somewhere. Okay. Look at I got the cover. Got this. Hey, I've got the cochlea. Ah, I'll believe it when I see it. Trying to get out of grub scrounging duty, no doubt. Well, I'll just go put this back where it belongs, and then it's mating grounds or bust. Okay, so I need to go back up top and put it there. So, just need to go to the main mast. Climb up it. And we should be able to put it in to its rightful spot. Okay, so. I need to replace this in the Manatee's Eustachian Passage. Can I? Uh, besides causing needless damage and pain, removing this cochlea to replace the other wouldn't make much sense. Okay, so then where do I put it then? Here you go, pal. Oh, just put it in there, okay. Whoa! I think we're back on course. Yay. I think I fixed your manatee problem. How about that? I felt the beast rumble and checked my compass. It says that we're right on course. Ancient manatee mating grounds? Here we come. How did you fix his sense of direction? Funny you should ask. I ran into your old crew. My crew? Yeah, and they had the yeah. copia the entire time. I just pretended I wanted to join their stupid club and... My crew! Yeah, your crew. Alive this entire time. Who would have thought? You betrayed us! Uh... Oh, sorry about that. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. I did kind of sell you guys out. We trusted you! Unbelievable, man. Uh, look, guys, I can explain. There's no need. Ah, Bug-Eye, the unlikely voice of reason. Breaking the trust of the Brotherhood has only one consequence. And that's probably death, I'm guessing. Yeah, An embarrassing guess. facial tattoo? Death. Kill him. hey oh Run for your life. Morgan! Doll, it's killing time! Excuse me? A trio of bloodthirsty mutineers are gonna pop out of that hole in three, two... What did I say earlier about running to me for help? One!
This is gonna be fun. <laughs> Master minions uh, kill. Good use of hand. Ha! He wants help from a girl. Are you still whining over that little scratch I gave you back on the narwhal? Kill the betrayer! Uh, the mutineers were calling you a pansy earlier. No, we weren't. He said you were a wilting flower. That sounds like Guybrush Threepwood. Smite him! Smite him! It's go time, Morgan. I can't just be told when to fight. I'm not some junkyard dog. Yeah, man. Treat a woman with respect, would you? Look, I'm sorry about before. Sorry about what? About assuming you were incapable of handling the situation. You are capable. Now, please, show these mutineers your capabilities. And? And you're a mighty bounty hunter. That's sweet. But aren't you forgetting something? I'm gonna watch Moose crush him. Huh. What? Oh! Weapon privileges restored. Okay. Yay. Now please help me. Thank you. <laughs> Yay. Mutineers of the crew of Coronado de Cava. I would like to establish, for the record, that the four of you were just manhandled by a woman. So in essence, you've been woman-handled. Which I imagine was not near as pleasant as it sounds. Go dangle your yard on, you traitor! Nice work, Morgan. Thanks, Captain. I mean, thanks, Honey Bunch. Now, Coronado, how do we get out of here? I'm 14 steps ahead of you, mijo. Here, this should do the trick. That's a unique formula of Panamanian prune juice, East Indian espresso beans, and booty breakfast bran flakes. A few drops administered to the creature's digestive system should be our one-way ticket topside. Got it. A few drops in the biggest bile pool I can find. That sounds easy enough. Done and done. Everyone on board! Hold on to your pantalones! Have blowholes. What? Uh, then. And, uh, oh, yuck. yeah. Yeah. Yuck. Ew. Hey, <laughs> about down there. I was a bit of a monkey's ass. No, well, yes, but I was going to say that your style's not so bad. Uh, nothing if not stylish. Anyway, I work alone. But you and I made a decent team. Hey, lovebirds, quit flapping your gums and get up here. My treasure sits mere fathoms away! <gasps> and my ship! The Howler Monkey! I thought I'd never see you again! I've dropped anchor down to the mating grounds and the cavern of La Esponja Grande. Now, if only my loyal crew was worth a piece of eight, a star crew and even at the temerity to expire! What's the problem? Santino was not only a world-class swordsman, bullfighter, and pastry chef. He was also, most importantly, an unrivaled skin diver. There is no other man who can survive the swim down to the mating grounds. Guybrush can hold his breath for ten minutes. Is that so? Uh... Yeah, it's a skill I developed in college. Well then, what are you waiting for, bucko? <laughs> Sponge! <laughs> and make it snappy! Okay, down we go. <laughs> well, 
all that stuff in my pockets really weighs me down. Okay, and I'm going to end the episode there. Um, hopefully you enjoyed the episode. Um, yeah, I'm kind of disappointed I had to <laughs> kind of look up what to do, but yeah, at least I actually got something done instead of had to wander, in, had to wander around for like freaking like hours, yeah, hours trying to figure out what to do. But yeah, um, hopefully in the next episode we'll be able to maybe finish off the chapter and fin find the uh, Sponge of Grandy and yeah. So I'll see you guys next time.